go, let's go, let's go. JB, come on. Oh, you don't want to show him the passcode? Okay. No. Come on. And then I get this. Will you be my unicorn? Will you be my unicorn? Because that's a... A narwhal? Yeah. Who farted? Not me. We gotta go. Look, I need someone to make me feel better right now, okay? I need a partner. Did, oh crap, I need water. Did any of you also kind of half-ass decorating this year? Please tell me you did. Because normally I have all the outdoor stuff all out. I have the whole deck is covered in garland. I have the trees in the basement. Girl, what? They're all in bins, okay? It's not coming out this year. Somehow it got away from me and I just said, bye-bye, enjoy another year in the bins. And I was like, whatever, I'm not pulling this crap out. And I love it, I do. And if someone had been like, poof, it's all put up, I would have been like, oh my gosh, my heart, so happy, mur, mur, mur. But I wasn't gonna do it. I wish I had a duplicate me that just did the stuff. You know what I'm saying? She didn't have to worry about anything. She doesn't have to worry about work. She don't gotta make dinner. She don't gotta talk to the, the, the kids and the family. She doesn't have to arrange things. She doesn't have to do anything but my tasks. You know what I'm saying? Sarah, empty the dishwasher. Shh. Sarah, fix the ice machine, it's broken again. Okay, yeah. Good luck with that one, because we don't know what the hell's wrong with it. And as we both know, it takes about three hours to figure it out. So, schedule that into your big day. Like, Sarah, go do the laundry. Sa I just wish I had like a maid version of myself to follow me around all day. Because she would have put them, she would have she would have put them things up. In fact, she was even thinking about getting on the roof. I was gonna get on that roof, you guys. And, and my friend kept saying, Sarah, do not get on the roof. And I was like, why? I'm probably not gonna fall. Like, and then she's like, my ass will not be on the roof. <laughs> I was like, what? Your ass wouldn't be on the roof? I shouldn't either. We're basically the same in that way. At least we got the tree up. Now, if I didn't put the tree up, then I'd really know, okay, Sarah, you need to regroup. Because why don't you put the tree up? What's your favorite thing about December? It's literally my favorite thing about December is the tree, the warmth, the ambiance. I wish it was there all year. Mwah, I love you. I don't even like turning it off at night, even though no one's down here. I will, but I don't like it. Look at the crack. It's almost gone. How cute is this freaking tray though, for real? I love it, because they come with a little trivet. I love it. I love it, it's from Crate. I got the Christmas tree one too, but I have no reason to bust that one out yet. But hopefully I find a reason soon. Girl, I've been so busy today. I'm gonna check in on y'all real soon. I'm gonna get you a fresh battery. We're gonna chitty chitty bang bang together real soon. I still don't know what that means and I'm afraid it's a sexual reference. And I, is it Coco? Girl, you can tell me if it is. I know you were not sitting in the gift basket again. They don't want your little booty hairs in there. They don't want them. Or maybe they do, I don't know. I don't know them like that. My parents. <laughs> Would you believe it's almost three o'clock and I haven't had my coffee yet? What is the world coming to? I did, however, have an Alani this morning, so there's that. Um, I have had a day. It's been a long day, but I worked a ton today, and I know I look just like yesterday, but this is actually the fifth outfit I've had on today. But uh, I digress. More on that later. I have to go pick the kids up. I told my grandma from the bus stop today because they both have their instruments and all their junk because they're like, you know, they clean off their lockers a little bit before uh, the break, which my kids actually have school tomorrow still, so. But uh, a lot of the other schools are out today, but not us, Poppy, which is fine. So I did get some stuff in the mail, I'm trying to figure out what it is without opening it, but then I was like, I don't remember. I know what store it's from, but I don't remember what it ordered. Oh, now I remember. Okay, it's for LG. Order something for him, and then I got some stuff for the kiddos, Pocket Villa Skittles. So I'll give that to them. Ooh, actually I can't. So they're gonna, oh, dang. Actually, we're gonna be in a little bit of rush. Maybe I should make myself a little coffee because as soon as I get them, they're gonna come home, drop their stuff off, and then we're gonna head out. We're gonna go pick up Solomon and we're gonna go over to Feed My Starving Children. And we are volunteering for, I don't know if it's like a nationwide thing or not, um, but, yeah, we're volunteering today and his daughter actually set it up and they were like looking for people and I was like, 100% sign us up, babe. So um, Lewis, is, Lewis is sick. <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be, and my mom's at work, so it's gonna be me, the kids, and a grandpa. And Coco, are you going? Cause I think they said you can bring pets. They said it's okay, they, you have good vibes, she said. 
The lady on the phone said good vibes. And us, Coco said, no, my vibes are off right now. Don't even. <gasps> Coco, you better not. She's over here chewing on the freaking cord. That's an official Apple cord. It's not even the one from Amazon. If you're gonna chew on one, chew on the Amazon one. That one always breaks anyway. Any hoodly doodle, so uh, let's make some coffee. Afternoon coffee? I don't think I want it to be hot. Let's make a cold coffee. These ones are like 50-50 on actually tasting good. Right. Coffee. This stupid thing, like, there's like no perfect spot where you can see me and you can see the thing. Okay, coffee. We're gonna get some creamer out, my favorite. We're gonna um, eat a couple of grapes because if you don't do this every time you open the fridge, I don't know. Again, you get an extra cramp. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's how life works. My kids said this milk is so nasty. They, we buy lactose-free milk. I get it from Kirkland if I happen to be at Costco. And I don't trust the Sam's Club milk anymore because we bought the almond milk there and it was disgusting. Me and my mom both hated it. And then <laughs> I buy Fairlife milk, but Fairlife is kind of expensive. And the other day I was at Target and I was like, oh, they have a big, or I don't know if I was at Target, I was somewhere, Meyer or something. And I was like, oh, they have a big lactate. I'm gonna buy this because it's obviously lactose free. Um, no, both of the kids were like, mom, this literally is so nasty. But thankfully, they almost ran out of it by now. So at least I don't have to waste a $7 gallon of milk. But I do feel bad that they think it's nasty. Girl, I didn't even get the coffee. I literally have like one or two points all day today. So I'm okay making this a little more indulgent because I definitely have them to spare. And I just haven't been very hungry the last few days, which is fine. I feel like ebbs and flows. You guys get like this too. Sometimes you're just like completely ravenous and you want everything. And then other times you're like, eh, food, I can take it or leave it. Nom, 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 nom. Just kidding. You saw me just tear out them grapes. No, for real though, I haven't been very hungry, so that's why. We're gonna add a sauce to this. We're gonna switch this to grams. I have the weight in my cup, it's zeroed out. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just do whatever I think is the normal amount that I want, and then I'm gonna measure after. That was 24 grams. Damn, that's kind of a lot. Okay, that's four points, that's not bad. Okay, now let's fill it with ice. I didn't close my ice machine, so it won't turn on. Please remind me of that. Now I'm gonna do the creamer. All right, I did six tablespoons, which is a lot of creamer. White chocolate, this is a sugar-free one, so NBD. And then we're gonna do a little peppermint. I wish I had my white chocolate out. Would've done a little bit more white chocolate. And then we're gonna do our stoke. Okay. Mm, the color is a little tiny bit off. Oh, the flavor's pretty good. We're just gonna top it off with a little bit of oat milk. Wow, this is actually really good. Look what happens when I take my time. All right, let's go get these babies. Can I say babies? One of you guys asked if it makes me sad to include all the clips of the kids when they were little. And it is very bittersweet because they're so big now and that's the idea. They're supposed to grow up, but um, of course it's bittersweet and no matter what, I'll never have those little kids ever again. And um, it was like, it is hard sometimes to look at it because it's like, wow, look at my little babies. But I could do that now. And so I just try to enjoy every day with my kids. I love my kids, dude. I just love hanging out with them. I love being around them usually. Sometimes they're a pain in my butt, but that's okay even that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just want to hopefully create a pretty solid childhood for them. And I hope that, you know, when they get older, they want to come around and they want to hang out and they want to do things as a family. And that's, that's all I can really hope for. So yes, it does make me sad. It is bittersweet. I may have shed a tear or two. I don't remember. I normally save those for my showers and the car. I listen to sad music in the car and then I start bawling as I'm pulling into Trader Joe's and it's like, girl, chill. We are rolling up to Grandpapa's house. Mm -hmm. I'm behind a school bus right now. Okay, so we're gonna grab Grampy and then we are off. Was that your phone falling just now? Wait, what was nice. it then? What was that? See, they cover their 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 um, central air unit. Now I'm starting to wonder if I should cover my central air unit. Oh, 
It's cold. Hey, she's cold. Mom was like, it's not that cold. Do you need a new phone case? It's a little destroyed. I do need a new phone case. <laughs> Nala's not live, laugh, loving her look, but me and Jaden are. My hair is fine. How was it? How was it, Jay? We packed these little mana packs. Oh, we're done at Feed My Starving Children, as you can obviously tell. We have we have done all of the packing and whatnot. Uh, we were there, I don't know, we left at like 6. We got there like 4 or 15, we left at like 6. So it's really not that long of like, you know, a thing. We and packed you, 158 boxes. 158 boxes? Yeah, it was enough food for like... 98 kids to get a meal every day. For the whole year, right? Yeah. That's pretty good. I had done it in the past and Nala did too. Mm -hmm. Sorry, let me check if Jaden's food is done. And uh, Solomon had never been there and his daughter and it was like her mother-in-law and her sister-in-law were there. And so that was fun. It was a fun little group. And her kid, her son was there as well. And uh, yeah, that was not bad. But that was Jaden's first time. And I think it was like probably Nala's first time remembering it. I remember um, the place, but I didn't remember doing it. It's being it. made. It's not quite done yet. It'll be a few I'm minutes, so humble. yes, the kids are hungry and they're, you know, they have stuff to do, but whatever. You guys are fine. I think you've been done with all my school work. <sighs> so I was going to make a chuck roast, like pot roast situation tonight, and I didn't. Instead, I let the kids pick what they wanted, and they could not agree because they are children. children. There you go. That's a good word to fill it in with. So now I asked for some pop. Well, look, I needed to go to Walgreens because we need some meds and stuff, and I had to pick a prescription. And they would not stop calling me. They even called me today, and I mean they've been calling me a ton, like multiple times a day. And I don't, you know, I don't even listen to the voicemails. But uh, today they called, and the voicemail was a real person just saying, "Hey, just wondering if you needed any prescriptions filled." And I was like, "What the hell?" Y'all got extra drugs you need to give out? I don't... It was weird. I had never received a call like that before. We stopped off there and Taco... There's a, a McDonald's, a Taco Bell, a Popeye's, and I think that's it. And so, boom. We went to Popeye's for Nala, Taco Bell for Jay. We don't, we don't really like McDonald's that much. We never go to McDonald's. Um, although there, that Cosmics came out and, you know, we're, we, should, we should go. We should go and... You can see what's there. It's not fast food place. Your order's ready. Go ahead and go in and get it. it. It'll be under my name. Unless it's just sitting out, in which case. My name is Sarah Vargas. It's not sitting out. I'm pretty sure. It might be under mom. I'm, Sarah I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm still going to go home and find something to eat. Although I did buy one of the soft chicken tacos. And I'm like, I'm running out of all my freezer meals, which I wanted. But also, like, now I'm running out of all my freezer meals. I didn't say mom. It didn't say <laughs> anything. It said apple and tea. E what? Are we sure this is ours? Yes, also. Oh, okay. We're talking about how these stupid Sweet Baby Ray's bottles, the lids, because now they're over poured. The lids all have the little hole. This is multiple, right? So this is not like well, there's one, the one, one That's not even the one I used. No, right. But it's not, there's no little thing on here to squeezy, you know? So she was saying she over poured, and I'm like, I literally over pour every time because I take the lid off, and I'm like, okay, squeeze, and then bloop. It's a whole freaking half cup that comes See, out. Nobody wants this much buffalo, my dad. Mm. Nobody wants that much buffalo. Somebody wants that much buffalo, let's be real. Some, grandma some wants that much buffalo, but I ain't named Grandpa. But you could be one day. What would you name me if you changed my name today? Yeah, Nala's on a whole, what would you name me cake right now? If yeah, I yeah, had to, yeah. how about this? If you had to change your name today, your first name, and you could not pick your own name or your middle name or any variation of your name, what would you pick? What would you, what would you pick for me? I think I'm going to have the enchilada stuff. Well, I would have to just call him a cut, but we're What would you pick for you? What would I pick for me? I don't even know that I give Sarah vibes. You don't. You have don't I? I give what? Penguin? Pepper Ann? I'm going Pepper Ann. Piper. Piper? <laughs> kind of Kendall. Kendall? Wait. Kendall? Kenny? Ken? Kendall? Ashley, but with like the E I G. -H. Ew, don't even start. I'm sorry. It's just there's one very specific girl that had that name that I was oh like. Oh my gosh. I don't have anything against the actual Ashleys. We just call her Ashley. I actually have nothing against her, Ashley, if you're watching. You look great on Facebook, girl. Okay, I would be. Okay, I'll go with Kendall. Do you want me to be Ken Kendall? Oh, I have a friend named Kendall. Kendall Ray. I'm 
Sarah. Kendall will go. I could. Ken. Kenny. Kenny. I like boy nicknames. <laughs> Me too. But I like girly names. Jasmine. I always like the name Jasmine. I like the name that to be shortened to Jasmine. I don't have a nickname. Sarah doesn't have a nickname. Sarah. Hey, Ra. Hey, Sarah. My friends always try to make it happen, and they know that they can't. So I get the weirdest nicknames. Like one of my nicknames is Lollipop. And then That's cute. Like, Nolly Polly Ollie. Noily Poily. Nolls. Nolls. No, Noily Cannoli. Noily Cannoli. I like that one too. Noily. Noily Poily. Noily Poily. That is the Veda nickname. She still called me that. Even Veda Potato. Yeah. She Veda doesn't bone. like being called Veda Bones. Veda Bones? Yeah, Uncle Jeffrey used to call her that. Call her. Oh, yeah, he did. And she hated it so much. Call her Veda Bones. But Darth Veda. Tell her it's Veda time. Darth Veda? Like it. J, JB, JC, Jaybird. I have a baby. Jaden McCaden. What about me, though? Jaden, Jaden, Bo Veda, Fanana, Fanana, Fo Faden. Kookaloops. Delaney or something? Delaney? I like the nickname Laney. Laney? But we already have a Lana. It's so close. Then you'd be Lane. Lane? Oh, then you'd be Lane. I don't know what you mean. And then what if people called you Lane to be mean? I like the nickname Laney. I like old school names. Like... Like historical names, like Jaden could have been Walsh. Benedict or something crazy. Mm-hmm. Not Rosa Parks. Rosa's like Rosa. We have a cousin like Rosa. Just died. Oh, maybe like a Mexican name or something. Yeah, yeah. You want a Mexican name. Did yeah. You say Rosa Parks. Just... What do you want? What do you want? What, what do you want? Do you want like a family Mexican name? Okay, Guillermina. Okay, what does that mean? What? My friends. She's okay, Mexican. Her last name is German. Nice. I like and it. And we literally. Mommy married a German man. No, he's a white man, but... What do you think Germans are, babe? You're really right, but I feel like if... I mean, probably not every German, but... Yeah. I'm gonna assume the majority. I gotta ask y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I ate one. And she ate one. I asked for a three-pack. We asked for a three-piece, and they were like, we're sorry, you had to wait. Eight pieces. Baby, I'll wait every time. How much do you want me to wait another ten? How many? How many will that get me? How many do I get by the hour? <laughs> um. What would you? What would okay, you what would I name you? What do you think my name would be? Not looking at me. Not looking at me. What's my name? Mexican. Um, do I look Mexican? You see Mexicans me. Mexicans look like a lot of different things. You see me? And I like. I'm in an ass Okay. What do you think my name is? No. No, it's not! Nobody oh, my yeah. name Nala! No, what was that? I typed my name Bagel one time. Nobody thinks my name is Nala. What does that even mean? They don't think your name is Nala. It don't matter what they think. Mom! I know, I love grandma, but I don't want to have an old lady uh, name. Tamales. Who is bought these from somebody at work? Luz? Oh, Luis. Oh, they spelled the same wrong. Seven Rojas. We're going to eat one. He'd be proud of me for eating this. Trust me. All right, so Pretty sure he's upstairs sleeping. He's All right, he's gonna the... get better. He's gonna get better really soon. Like really soon. Probably like tomorrow. I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna feel amazing, and I'm not gonna get sick at all. Um, I like the name Lorena. Lorena, if you're watching this, I love her name. Oh my gosh, what about her daughter? Her daughter's name is Andrea, and that's <gasps> a really pretty. Name. I really like her name. We just I like her to say, and it was so pretty. Andrea. Um, I like the name Blanca. Anastasia. That one. Annalisa. That one. Anastasia. That one. Anastasia. Yeah. But I wouldn't even call you Anastasia. Anastasia. Like my brother named his son Tiago, but I think he's gonna have a lot of people calling him Tiago. I only call him Tiago because he's my cousin. But his name is Tiago. Ooh, Diego. Ooh, Jasmine. Ooh, Belle. Bella. Ah, que bella. <laughs> Oh, this was one of those freezer meals. I'm glad this one's coming out. I don't even know how I ended up with this one. Uh, cauliflower bowl, but I really, ooh. Cauliflower does not like me. And I like it fine, you know what I mean? Good enough. Actually, we have some cauliflower wings at that Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Those were fire. Those were really good. But um, yeah, no, I wish this was rice. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, is it like freaking two points on WW? Yeah, but it's because there's nothing of any real sustenance in here. Like, look at this. Depressing. Sad. We're gonna liven it up because 
It's been in my freezer forever, so I need to get it out. It does have beans and it has some corn, and that I like. Hey, can you bring the Hollister box? Absolutely, right here down here. Oh, perfect. That's why I was calling you down here. Okay, so we're gonna put some chicken on top, and I don't even have to measure this because it's three ninety nine because there's nothing in it <laughs> except veggies and chicken breasts. Oh, oh, I have tamale too. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna liven this up, guys. We're gonna liven it up. I would like to add more corn and stuff, but. Because I have that tamale on the stove, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna put this in the microwave. We had some leftover corn. I'm gonna use that. And then some tomatoes that are starting to go bad. Uh, yeah, they're getting a little wrinkly. Starting to get a little cellulite on them. All right, we're gonna make a little sauce. So I'm gonna use some sour cream. What all did you, I thought you got me a vest. And I mean, a I didn't hot. place the order. I wasn't able to place the order. So sour cream, and then I put lime juice in it. And then I put Tabasco in it to like, oh gosh, not the crusty piece. So to spice it up, make it nice and spicy for my followers. <laughs> Time to pack my box for my friends and followers. How did she say it? <laughs> I don't know, I love her though. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put little dollops. I actually changed my mind about the wrinkly tomatoes because um, my tongue kind of hurts from, I think I've had too much acid this week and uh, yeah, my tongue hurts. So the uh, lime juice is about to do me in as it is. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna skip the tomatoes. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. You can wear them tomorrow. This looks pretty good. I mean, I don't normally be eating other people's tomatoes, but he bought them. So. What are we gonna do? I hate this camera. Like it's, it's either too high or too low. I'm just gonna throw this on top because it's all in the same family. It's not bad, it's juicy. Masa tastes a little juicy. I'm not even gonna show you this plate because it looks disgusting, but it's gonna be fire. Oh, I should've added avocado. You know what, it's enough, I'm tired. I'm just, I wanna sit down, me and my cat. We just wanna chill, right, Papa? We just wanna chill, so man, we're just here for chills. Okay, I think today's vlog's gonna be on the shorter end, huh? I just haven't really, I was working the mass majority of the day and it was just, there wasn't a lot for me to film for you guys because I was filming for you guys, but you know, in a different way. I was filming it for the future. Do I like my parents' tamales because I know my parents made them? I mean, that's definitely part of it, but this one is so juicy. Oh my gosh. My brother used to date a girl and she would bring us her family's, like tamales when they would make them. And she was Guatemalan. Those things were Fire, bro. They were totally different than ours, and they use banana leaves instead of like the ojas that we normally use. And oh, they were so good. So different. So it was like comparing apples and oranges. Okay, maybe not apples and oranges. Maybe like oranges and grapefruits. It was like that. All right, I think I'm gonna pop up my phone. Although I've been listening to Consequences by Aletha Ramig, which is apparently how you say her name. Um, and I first read this book like, what? 11 years ago and I was like whoa what the hell did I just read because the saga is really crazy but it's not a romance it's definitely more of a psychological thriller however there's some serious Stockholm syndrome in there but it's it's deep it's layered but also our heroine's kind of dumb sometimes and that can be obnoxious but I'm just rereading my old favorites and I definitely don't see them the same as I did back then and so I love the book's that were my faves forever ago and remain that way to this day. Those ones are really, really special. Now I think I'm gonna watch someone's Vlogmas today though. Vlogmas is a lot of work. So I'm gonna watch someone else's and give them, give them my view for the night. Who are you guys watching? Are you watching anyone else's? <gasps> Ryan Trahan opened or uploaded a new video. I, I literally just love him and Haley. I think they're just the cutest. I'm so glad they're like, popular people that are out like I just love them I love them I love their videos I love their whole vibe like it's so adorable and me and the kids can like both watch it you know what I mean and then yeah I don't know it just gives us something to talk about so it's so cute I'm gonna watch his new video